Hi, my name is Laura Wiley and I am an instructional support teacher here in Los Altos School District. You're watching this video today because your student is going to begin their next reading unit. Bigger books mean amping up reading power. Our second grade readers have grown bigger and stronger and they're now ready to be challenged in new ways. For example, tracking longer and harder books. This unit focuses on three aspects of reading, fluency, literary language, and tracking longer stories. Your child's teacher and I will rally readers around the idea that research scientists have been studying second grade readers and those scientists have found some critically important things about second grade, including that second grade is the time for readers to experience an enormous reading growth spurt. This unit has four parts. In the first bend, reading with fluency, students will work on reading with smooth, expressive voice. While this is a skill that students have been working on since the beginning of the year, it is even more important now given the fact that students are most likely reading harder books. In the second bend, understanding literary language, students explore figurative language. Since we know that language becomes more complex as students read more sophisticated texts, this part of the unit will help students identify and understand special language. In the third bin, meaning the challenges of longer books, students will work on keeping track of a storyline in longer books. This part will teach students strategies for keeping track of longer texts since we often see students moving into longer books. In the fourth and final bend, tracking goals in the company of others, students will form a club in pursuit of a goal. These goal clubs will focus on the unit's three main areas, fluency, literary language, or tracking longer stories. The fourth part of this unit will more than likely look different from classroom to classroom and is not part of this learning plan but instead put into the hands of the classroom teacher so that they may meet the needs of his or her students. Some ways that you can help your reader at home. Have your reader read aloud with you. Give feedback on the student's pace, if they're reading too slow or too fast, and their fluency. Really reading in scoops or phrases um, instead of reading one word at a time. Um, also, when you're reading with your student and you come across some figurative language, such as in the book Stella Luna, her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper, push students to think beyond the literal, instead focusing on what the author is trying to make you think or feel as the reader. Another way you can support your reader at home is to build a reading a uh, kit at home. It only needs two things, a post-it pad and a pencil. We're going to teach students that these are amazing tools for them to use, especially when keeping track of longer books. So encourage them to write quick notes, some quick jots as they read to help them hold on to the longer storyline. Um, lastly, encourage students to be reflective throughout this unit. Um, what do they feel like they are doing really well and what can they use more practice in? This will help them self-assess self along the way and make picking a goal to focus on in that final bend a little bit easier. I look forward to teaching along with your student's teacher and yourself in supporting our second grade readers. Thanks so much.